Okay, Jeff at Bleeding Bit. This is our open pit mine. You may have seen our underground. I've been working on the open pit mine primarily to get the rock flow and the rock performance happening. So I've made a couple of pieces of equipment. So we've got the, uh, the truck, which is entirely operable, and we've got the face shovel. Uh, now, it could be any face shovel. I've chosen Caterpillar. Uh, again, entirely operable. We'll bring up a remote control for tramming, just to show you the movement of the tracks. Um, and of course, the the remote control allows you to move the swing as well on the, the digger, uh, which is normal. So we'll leave that there and we'll jump in and we'll load this truck. So we've got some controls and seat adjustments in the cab. We're running with the international controls. And we've got our two operating levers just set up to mimic the VR motion controllers. So it's set up as a face shovel. The difference between a face shovel and a backhoe configuration is a face shovel typically loads the truck from the same level. A backhoe would normally load from above the truck. The other difference with a face shovel is that uh, the face shovel configuration has a bucket door on it, which we open um, to release the, the rocks and load the truck. There's a lot of time and effort put into trying to get the rocks to perform as they would in the real world. And we're not there yet, but we're getting close. So we're running a 1060 graphics card, which is sort of a, a lower level card for virtual reality. The reason why I'm doing that is to try and get the rocks down to a performance level uh, that has as minimal impact on the card as possible. Otherwise, it's, it's too difficult for the card to process in virtual reality in real time. So our truck's now loaded. What we'll do is we'll jump out and we'll have a look from out here. And we can still, we can see there's a rock or two that are still stuck in the bucket. But other than that, just try not to get caught up with cables. And we will see if we can see the truck and the face shovel from here. And there we go. Thanks for watching.